Okay, for this problem, we're asked to determine the end behavior of the function f of x equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 all divided by x plus 1. So in behavior, basically we're, we're being asked to find the limit as it approaches infinity. So let's go ahead and write that down. The limit as x approaches infinity of 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 over x plus 1. Okay, so how do we go about taking this limit? Um, you could you could think of what the function is doing as it's as it's getting larger and larger, um, and you can see that uh, the top is going to infinity because of the x squared term, and the bottom is going to infinity because of the x term. So it's it's basically infinity divided by infinity. So what does that really mean? Well, we can we can kind of simplify that a little by dividing the top and bottom by x. Um, that means every term in the top and bottom will get divided by x. So let's rewrite that as the limit is x approaches infinity of 2x squared over x plus 6x over x minus 2 over x divided by x over x plus 1 over x. So what did that accomplish? Uh, well, some of the terms are going to cancel out, which, which may help us in the next step. Let's find out. So the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, this term right here is going to just turn into 2x. This term, the x is cancel, so plus 6, and then minus 2 over x. That one doesn't change. Uh, divided by x over x is 1 plus 1 over x. Okay, so did that help us at all? Well, we can look at some of these terms, and we can see, we can think about what happens as we, as we get larger and larger, um, like 2 over x. What happens as the x gets larger and larger? Well, as you divide by bigger and bigger numbers, this term, 2 over x, is going to get closer and closer to 0. Like 2 divided by 100, 2 divided by 1,000, 2 divided by a million. It gets smaller and smaller. So does this term on bottom, 1 over x. So both of those terms are going to head towards 0. So we can cancel those out. Think of them in terms of x going to infinity. We can cancel those out, and that would leave us with the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x plus 6 and all we have on the bottom is 1 plus 0 so there's there's no denominator you could write over 1 if you wanted no real need uh, so now we look at this and we say okay well what is the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x plus 6 well simply think about infinity or this this function uh, 2x plus 6 the x getting larger and larger approaching infinity uh, the function is going to be infinitely large so we can, we can answer the question, determine the end behavior of the function. This function, the end behavior as it gets larger and larger towards infinity, is actually going to get infinitely large.